Mungus Jake here to do my review of the new 2022 Busby Double Shot. This is a kind of recoloring and retooling a little bit of a long time classic. This actually is the blaster that has been in production the longest out of any blaster that's been made. This actually has been in production only going back to 2004. Now the original design was a side-by-side -side type shotgun and that kind of lives on in two forms with both the Walking Dead series Rick shotgun which you can find at Dollar General still for $15 and in a highly modified version as the Adventure Force Double Fire which has stepped away from using the shotgun shells and just loads darts into the breech. So kind of carrying on the legacy. But this is the double shot. The sort of original in that it is the double shot with the shells, the double barrel, the two stage trigger that actually allows you to guess load and fire both darts at once or one barrel then the other. Which let's go ahead and show that. Now this retails for a price of $13 and I picked mine up locally at my Dollar General. And like I said, it, this blaster allows you to fire one and then the other. Or once you've reloaded and the shells will go flying. So make sure to keep your hands on them. Once you've reloaded your shells, like so, dart over, dart into the shell. And then shells into the blaster. I fired one and then the other in the first go. Now, right by the camera, both darts at once. It has a two stage trigger where if you pull halfway, it fires the first barrel, pull the rest of the way, it fires the other barrel. Or one clean pull, both at once. Nice, simple design, and it even still retains the old storage where you could put a couple of shells that are preloaded, ready to go. And kind of a neat option. But again, it's only $13 and it offers a lot of fun in a actual true break barrel, double barrel shotgun type blaster with a true two stage trigger. Very neat. Now, with all that out of the way, for your $13, you get the blaster, four of the Busby shells, and four of the Busby long distance darts, like so. It's the uh, typical blue foam, yellow tipped. They have the kind of aerodynamic tip. They offer pretty good range, but a little less accuracy. They're, because of that tip, they just kind of go wherever they decide to go. Makes them good for, you know, a good high velocity shot, but a little less precise. Busby had the best darts on the market with the Precise Pros, and I have been bugging them in lots of videos and lots of comments and even direct messages trying to get them to bring those Precise Pros back. Love those darts. These are good for range. Precise Pros were awesome for, for uh, well, precision. We need both. But it comes with these, so that's what you have to work with until you go get, get extras. But the Double Shot, it is a true venerable shotgun type blaster one of the only from everybody on the market currently x shot doesn't currently make a true shotgun style blaster that can fire one and then the other or both they do have uh they do have a shotgun style blaster it it's a prime fire prime and fire this is not that dart zone doesn't have one nerf has a couple options here and there but Busby has stuck with this tried and true design that's been around forever. I literally bought my first one in 2004 and I still have it. It's in my classics collection and I did a video on it not too long ago. But getting into this specifically, what can you expect if you go put your $13 down? This thing does not have the highest performance. It never did. But I will have to note this. The new generation comes with different shells than the previous. Busby shells are a old design. Again, been around since 2004. They really hit the market more so in 2005, but that's a long time. And these shells hadn't been changed all along the way until now.
Now there has been a change, and I noticed this immediately as soon as I took out the package. The shells have this dart post in the center. This is an old holdover from a long, long time ago when darts needed a post to help hold them in place or they'd flop out. And that's also a holdover from when the blasters had a nozzle inside the dart that blew air into the interior of the dart to propel it. Like it's sitting on a peg and the peg is a nozzle. That's how most blasters used to operate. They don't now. They work like an actual barrel in most cases now, which is a better design. But the Busby double shot shells, they still use that nozzle effect. Now, down in, you have to slide the dart down on the peg. The new, the new peg is quite obviously smaller. This peg here is large. This one is about half the size. That's what I immediately caught. And then I looked at the shell. The back end of the shell is perfectly smooth. Whereas the old shell had a couple of ridges on it that lined up with the seal on the back of the blaster here. So the couple of ridges were you know, both larger and then smaller than the seal, so it sat perfectly in there. The new one is just, it's smooth. They just count on the seal sitting against the back of the shell. So I was like, wait a minute, this smooth surface is also you know, perfectly fine for sealing. And the smaller peg, I'm thinking less friction. It's going to fire off really easy. Might get better performance. Until I tested it. Put it over the chronograph, fired about 50 shots. And I was only getting about 56 feet per second on average. And a 56 foot per second average is well low. Even the old design of the double shot with these shotgun shells with the, the large post, which would cause more friction, it was always getting in the mid 60s. You'd get 64, 65, 66 feet per second all day long. Until this one. And this blaster itself, it feels, fires, and functions the exact same. It's really just a recolor of the previous generation. The shells are not. So I, I tried something on a hunch. I took the old shells, like the one I have here in my hand, I took the old shells and started testing with those. All of a sudden I'm getting mid-60s again. And then I put the new shells in old double shots and it dropped their performance down. So the new shell is actually the secret to it all is the air restrictor in this is more restrictive. Quite simple. Because the air restrictors are in the shells, not in the blaster. So what that means to you when you buy it? It's going to shoot in the mid to upper 50s when talking about velocities measured in feet per second. That's well below the typical expected standard of 70 feet per second, which is generally held as a, you know, across the board rule. In most blasters will fire at least 70 feet per second. The double shot was, again, an old design and it fired at about the mid 60s, which was very good for what it was. Close range shotgun, you know, two shot blaster. Mid 60s, you're gonna get somebody, because you know, you're, you're gonna go around a corner and pop out and boom, boom. And you'd get them. Mid 50s, that's a different story. That's dodgeable. <laughs> You can literally hear somebody fire at you, you know, and see them in front of you and get out of the way. Because those darts are coming at you about as fast as you can throw them. So, that's a little bit of a disappointment, and I want to make sure I point that out. But, the solution is really, really easy. Use the old shells. Use the old shells, or... Brass your shells. <laughs> yes, I, I brassed up a whole bunch of mine. So, these... It's a simple, simple thing. You don't have to touch the blaster. With brass shells, this is actually firing in the middle to upper 70s now. So, simple change. I just literally gutted the shell and slipped in some uh, about two and a half inches of 17 30 seconds inch brass. That's a few dollars to buy. And that worked beautifully. So, the new shells that come with this do restrict its performance. And that's the only knock I can give against a blaster that I have loved for years. I still love the blaster. It's a $13 pickup at your local Dollar General. But this thing 
it's still the same tried and true double shot that's been around forever. The best thing it is for, as many people know, is its looks, its function, its fun. Whether it whether you're going to use the new shells or the old shells or find some off of Etsy or eBay or take them and brass them like I did. No matter what you do, the blaster itself is still fun. Having a true break action double barrel shotgun is never going to be old. And despite it being around since 2004, this thing's it is old, but it hasn't gotten old. And that's where I can leave it. People who like to paint them up, they're still going to love it because it's still got that awesome look to it. The, that, that break barrel, double barrel shotgun look is still as cool as ever. Those be double shot, $13. I can give it a thumbs up even if the shells are causing some reduced performance. That is quite noticeable. So keep that in mind when you go look at it to buy it. It's definitely a short range blaster now if you're going to use these shells. I have to look through because I got a bunch of shells here. I have a, about 150 so I don't have to use these but these will get the brass treatment just like the ones I showed here and there's my solution. But you can also find replacement shells on Etsy and eBay so if you grab a double shot just go hit up some 3D printed shells as well and best of both worlds. This is with my review of the Busby double shot the oldest blaster still made just refresh for 2022. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.